All right, thank you, Lindsay. New this noon, Onondaga County DA Bill Fitzpatrick clearing the County Democratic Elections Commissioner of any criminal charges in a case that involved driving for rideshare companies during regular county business hours. News Channel Eyes' Jeff Kulikowski just back from the morning press briefing by the DA. Jeff, there's really no denying that Dustin Zarni, mm -hmm. in fact, did drive some hours while the Board of Elections was open. So why did the DA decide not to charge him? Well, Dan, it comes down to really a pretty simple fact, and that is that in his position, which happens to be a politically appointed job, there are no rules on the books that say he can't do this kind of thing. The DA's office looked over all the records Uber and Lyft gave them pertaining to Dustin Zarni's hours driving for the two ride-sharing companies. And when you factor in sick days, they found Zarni drove a total of just under 15 hours during what's considered regular business hours over the course of nearly three years. DA Fitzpatrick says many of those trips were late in the afternoon or on Dustin's way home. But more importantly, he says... There's no set nine to five. He doesn't punch a time, a time card. So uh, he felt, in light of the disclosures, that it, it looked bad. I think he's already indicated that, so I don't want to rehash that. So there's, there's just no thievery there. There's, it just, it, things that don't look good aren't crimes. Now, I reached out to both the Comptroller and the elect Elections Commissioner, and both only issuing statements. This is part of Dustin Zarni's statement. He says, I have maintained throughout the process that I did not do anything wrong and that Mr. Biednell was mistaken in both his reading of the law and analysis of the data. I'm grateful to District Attorney Fitzpatrick and his team for doing this investigation and uncovering the truth. Comptroller Matt Biednell, much shorter in his statement, and he says simply, all the information related to the matter was referred to the DA's office at his request. We honor and respect the decision he reached in this matter. Well, we'll dive a little deeper starting with News Channel 9 first at 4 on this matter and continue on News Channel 9 at 5 o'clock, Dan. But to wrap it up, the case is closed, no charges, and no call for any restitution to be paid to the county either. Jeff Kulikowski, thank you.